What's up, Mentorship Maniacs? It's a daily dose of the Mentorship Motivator. Dropping different bombs for you every day. And today we're talking about believe. You gotta believe. You have to believe. And what is that? What are we talking about? Now, in order to sell, and we've talked about selling yourself, selling yourself in your head first, selling yourself to yourself, selling yourself to your team, but none of that happens. You're never gonna sell to anyone if until you believe. And I'm not just saying only, of course, you need to believe in yourself. Sure, we need to believe in ourselves. We know that. But you need to believe in your company. You need to believe in your, your freaking product and service. You need to believe that what you're offering people is worth at least like 10 times more than what you're, what you're offering them. That you have such belief in it. You have belief that you have the solution to their problems. You need to truly freaking believe that in your head that you have a solution to their problems. So if someone doesn't buy your services, doesn't doesn't pay, sign up for your services, buy your product, you're like, you can't comprehend it because you believe so much in it and you know so much for a fact that you're going to help, you could change this person's fucking life. So you should be shocked in your head when they, they don't sign up for your services or they think it's too expensive because you know you're delivering 10 times the freaking value, 20 times, 100 times the value. Un Sometimes there's not, you can't even put a, a numerical value on what you're going to provide for them in your product and service. You're shocked. You're shocked. You're like appalled. Like, I don't believe this, that, that, you, that, that, that this is happening, that this person is not signing up for it. Because if you have a lack of belief, it's going to show. If, if you, it's going to show in your confidence. It's going to show in making you not look like an expert. If you're not having, if you have the belief, you're going to have the confidence. You're going to look like an expert. You're going to have enthusiasm. You're going to have freaking passion about what you're talking about. Because if you don't, they will see right through that bullshit. They could smell bullshit from a mile away. People have good bullshit detectors. It's obvious, especially if you don't have belief in your product or your company or your service or yourself, it's going to shine right through. But on top of that, you need to have belief in the promises that you are making to someone. You're going to make some bold, bold claims and bold promises of what you're going to provide for someone. You're giving them all this, you know, your, your, your sales pitch or whatever you want to call it. I hate that. But you're telling them about how you're so much better than everyone else, what makes you different than everyone else, how you're going to get them guaranteed results and solve all their problems better than any way they could possibly imagine. You're going to be with them every step of the way. You're going to hold their hand and all this stuff. You need to believe in these promises that you're making. And this needs, you need to not make false claims and false promises because, again, that bullshit detector. You need to believe in those promises. Then you need to make sure that you fucking deliver on those promises and make sure your team delivers. And not just delivers. You're promising them, them this. You need to deliver way up here. Bam. You need to go above and beyond. Over deliver on that shit. And follow through above and beyond. You're telling them what they're going to get. You need to freaking follow through. Hammer that shit home. And go overboard on what, what you're telling them they're going to get. And what they actually get. Give them much more than they're expecting to get. If you say... That, all right, if you don't show up for this, if I tell them that, you don't show up to the gym for these classes, I will show up to your doorstep. I will, if you don't eat healthy, I will raid your kitchen and, and do an inspection in your cabinets. I will bring the whole group and do a boot camp class on your front lawn. If you're going to go to extremes, and I've told people that, and I'm willing to do it, and we've done some of that stuff before. If you're going to go to those extremes and make these bold claims and these outrageous claims, guess what? You better be willing to back that shit up. And you better be willing to follow through with that shit. Because that's what's going to make you believe. I'm telling someone that with such conviction and such passion. Because I know I will show up to that motherfucker's house if they don't get into the gym. I know that I'm going to do it. So I have belief in it. So you need to believe on the bold claims you're making. And make sure also you need to believe that you need to make sure you then give this information to your team about, listen, this is what we're selling people on. This is what we're telling people in the conversation. Now, I need you to make this happen. Can I count on you to make this happen? Can I count on you? And they need to, and they need to be on board with your high standards, your high expectations, what you're promising your prospects, your team needs to be able to deliver. And if they can't, you need to train them up to deliver and make sure they deliver above and beyond the expectations. And if they're not willing to do that, you probably have the wrong team members because they need to be able to do that. You need to train up your team they're the, listen, they're on the front lines. They are giving the front line experience to your members. You're giving, you're doing a sales call, sales consultation with someone. You're telling them everything they're going to freaking get with you. They walk in that door. They're most likely not running into you. They're running into your front desk or your, your, the operators in your business, the day-to-day -day operators. You need to train your team up 
to exceed those bold claims and promises to go above and beyond the expectations of what this person is expecting after you got them to sign the dotted line and give you your fucking credit card. Don't just tell them a bunch of bullshit to give you a credit card and then you're not going to follow through with that stuff. You need to. And explain to your team what you tell the prospects and explain exactly how they need to deliver it, exactly what the experience needs to be like. You need to do service training with your team, role playing with your team to make sure they are on board to exactly what you're talking about in those sales consultations. Because guess what? By knowing that you've done the due diligence and done the training and told your team about it, that's going to make you believe. So what your belief is going to be portrayed to, to them. And that's how that's what sales is. Sales is basically just a transference of energy, transference of emotion, but even more, it's a transference of belief and certainty. So if you they could feel in your in your fucking bones and in your words and in your voice. That And in your look and the way you act and the way you talk and walk and move and operate, if they could feel that you really believe in what you're talking about, guess what? They're going to fucking believe you too. They're not going to think you're bullshitting. In, and this is in all of your actions. You need to be sharp as hell the way you're talking, walking, dressing, and have belief in every single step of the process. Have belief that you are the best solution for their problems. That if they walk out that door and they go to your competitors... That you have done them a disservice. Not because you want their money and you don't want their competitors to have your money. But you know that you're going to deliver such far beyond what any of your competitors could deliver. That now you're letting them go somewhere else. And get inferior service. Because you didn't believe enough in your product to, to portray that. To transfer that belief. To show that belief. And let them feel that belief. That you don't believe in yourself and in your product, in your service enough. That you really are the top fucking dog in town. That's what you should be thinking of. You are the top dog. And none of those other people can compete with you. And if you let them go to somewhere else, you have failed them. Because you need to believe you are the best solution. It's a disservice to let them go somewhere else. And you know that because you because you know they're not going to get the, the support and the accountability. And they're definitely not going to get the results going anywhere else in town. They're going to get the only way they're going to get results. The only way is with you. So you're failing them by letting them go to your competitor. Just because you know, because you believe so strongly in what you're telling them and your product and your program, you know your program's gonna work. Because you put in the time and effort to let it evolve and change and get better and better. You're constantly improving, constantly freaking growing. That's why you have such belief in what you're doing. And your energy and your confidence is gonna show your belief. Your enthusiasm is gonna show your belief and you're gonna transfer that belief and emotion and energy into someone else so that you can sell them. And... You're going to get that, put that hope into them. You're going to instill that hope into them. Your belief is going to give them some freaking hope because they, they're at the, they, they come into you sometimes, they, whatever the situation is, and they got nowhere else to go. They're coming to you for help for whatever your product, your service is. They are coming for help and they're not going to do it if they don't, if they don't see that you believe in the product. If you can't transfer that belief and that hope into them, they're not going to do it. It's not going to happen. You can't give someone a hundred bucks if you only have 10 bucks of your own. You just can't do it. So if you only have $10 worth, 10% worth of belief, you can't give someone a transfer 100% of belief to them. You need a fucking 100% of belief and transfer 100% of belief into them. That's the way you need to do it. Believe in your experience, your past results. Believe in your systems and your process and your programs. Believe that you have the solution because you've done it before and believe that you've done the due diligence to have the best solution to their problems. That's what you need to have. And then transfer that belief of, of you and your product, your service and your program into them. And guess what? You have 10 out of 10 sales closed. 9 out of 10 sales closed. Price becomes irrelevant when you could transfer that belief and that certainty and that hope into them through your own belief because you need to fucking believe. That is your mentorship motivator. Any questions, comments, put them below. I will talk to you later. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.